Hey guys, so in this video I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing at work today. I've been treating seed. I've been doing this for a little bit. We are planting, hopefully this week or the next week. We have a nursery that's going in. We have some a big variety that we're growing out to look at genetically and well not genetically just like how it looks what it grows how much people are interested in it and then we are also doing some other stuff but yeah we treat all of our seed before it goes in the ground unless we're doing experiments I don't think we're doing any of those this year last year we did treated versus not treated with inoculant and not inoculated it as well that was pretty cool to see the results and I wish I would have taken pictures of it because like you could just see it in the field like it was bam bam so it's really cool to see the differences that treatment makes in bringing seed out of your soil and germination rates I think it's pretty grand stuff and lots of background and research has gone into it so it's worth giving it that shot um not everyone treats their seed and that's totally okay and there's sometimes more of that push for organic so if that's the choice that they want to make then that's totally up to them so let's get to it so the first thing we do when we're treating seed is put it in envelopes that are easy to treat so instead of treating all of the seed we have of that stock we pull out what we need to plant and then we put it in our little coin envelopes with stickers on them and then those stickers are all printed. I'm basically a sticker master by now. I just hook it up to the Excel sheet, print the sticker, whip the stickers out on the coin envelopes, and we're all organized, ready to go. Um, this has been a really cool learning process for me since I started here last year. I've learned a lot about organization with planting and how we organize all the varieties that we put in the ground. So when we treat our seed, we just pull it out of these envelopes. We put it in a little Dixie cup and most of the time there's a little bit left over from what I treated last because it only takes a couple like one or two squirts of that in the bottom of the cup. You shake it around until it's all coated. Here, I can't see much of it, but if it'll focus, I don't know, but it's all coated. I'm going to dump it back into this envelope and then it just goes back in its little box. Another thing when you're treating seed, we have round and wrinkled seeds. So the round seed take less treatment because they have less surface area to cover, if that makes sense. So if you have a round seed versus a wrinkled seed, there's more spaces to get in with that wrinkled seed than a round seed. And that makes it easier and quicker to treat those round seeds. But the round seeds are harder to count because they roll around on the table and it's so annoying. You sit there with your little sticks or fingers and try to count out five of the seed at a time to put them in the envelope. And they just roll everywhere. So I like the wrinkled seed more than the round. Here is an example of the difference between wrinkled seed and round seed. You can see that not everything is covered, which is okay. It's not ideal, but like you can't really get seed treatment into every single one of those little cracks. And then I'll show you some round seed. So these treatment. are some rounder seed. Uh, this treatment is definitely more like it's coating more on these seeds. We do have seed that are just completely round and don't have any wrinkles basically, but this is not one of those varieties. So there you have it. Um, we put treatment on seeds to protect them while they're in the soil and make sure that they come up, they have the best germination rate that they can. Gives them that extra oomph and make sure that we get, you know, a growing season. So some people don't treat their seeds. They like to do it organically, uh, which everyone makes that choice and you might have a market for that. We send out to customers that grow organically, but if the customers want their seed treated, then we can do that for them as well. So, okay, we're treating 50 pounds of seed today. We use our treatment that's a mixture of three different fungicides and red dye and water. We put the water and red dye in there because the water activates the uh, fungicides and then the red dye makes it more adhesive. It's like, hey, the seed is treated, so you're not gonna miss a red seed. Like, that's not something you normally see, but unless it's treated. Um, so you know for sure that it has treatment on it. And then um, safety-wise, with handling treatment, you just wear gloves and coveralls if you don't wanna get your clothes dirty or just wear junk clothes. And then it doesn't take too much treatment to treat 50 pounds of seed. 
I'll show you guys that. And it doesn't take too long either, mixing it up. And then um, after we transfer it to the bags, we sew them up, put them on the pallet, and so they can get loaded up in the field. So the seed's gonna go from these bags into that mixer, flip this around into those bags, sew it up onto the pallet. And don't forget to shake up your treatment, that's important. So there's 50 pounds of seed, the treatment goes on it, and then turn on that little switch. it when that little thing is on the bottom and it's ready to go in the white bags. <laughs> you flip it around. And then with the mixer you have to be careful that there's not seed when you're switching varieties on the bottom because that can cause rogues in your fields. So here's a little time lapse and overview of like how we treated seed. It goes a lot quicker with two people because you have one person pouring the treatment and the seed in and then the other person sewing up the bags after they pour it out. So it just goes a lot quicker. It's way more efficient to do it with two people. Okay, so between me and Brandon, uh, we got about 1,350 pounds of seed, so 1,350 pounds of seed treated in about 45 minutes. That was about 10 different varieties, um, and then we got them all on these pallets, stacked up the way we like them. So that is all I've got for seed treatment. Uh, the next video will probably be a planting video next week after we get the 13 acres planted with those 10 varieties, and then we put in a little bit of not a nursery, but a nursery. So we'll do that with a smaller planter. And then our, um, I'm looking into doing buddy seat interviews. So if you guys know anyone that would be willing to let me tag along with where they work in the ag industry and share with me so I can share with you guys what they do, um, I'm really interested in getting that knowledge out there. And a lot of people don't think what they do is worth recording and sharing, but I think it is. So that is something that is on the agenda and I'm developing that and I just appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch these videos and if you have any questions, concerns, comments, just drop them and a like so we can get this on rolling. <laughs>